So I, I currently have quite a few... Uh, Wait, I was only one of those locked. Did I actually get those trades completed? Um, you're oh, wow. showing... You're showing the platinum screen. Nope, it, it, it's fixed in a second. Okay. Oh, wow, so someone actually traded me four Yvetals for one X and Y pack. Ooh, I told you! Wow. I told you! Ridiculous trades! They'll they'll still do it! So that's part of my way to my darkness deck. Now I just need to get the EXs and I'll be good to go. Ghost, give me a booster pack so I can get some. <laughs> I gotta make that da dark debt OP. I told you, like, those are... It, you can you sit there and you find out what the fair price is, and then you offer a third of that. And you get it. <laughs> Alright, so let's open three of these packs and see what we get. See how good our luck is. Maybe four packs. Alright. So that. first one gets us... Ooh, an Agaslash. So now I have two of them. Both of mine are in, I believe this is the sword form. Yep. Tax damage isn't affected by resistance, although I don't think anything really resists metal. Which makes that kind of a weird thing to do, but... Wait a minute, was one of your cards or, uh, offers a Kakuna for a Yvatoli? No, I, we were trying to figure out earlier, um, somebody had their... There was a fair trades only thing set on their account. And so I was trying to see if, like, they actually had activated a like-for-like like trading thing. And so I was trying to make the most ridiculous offer possible, and I'm like, no, you can you can make uneven trades. And it, it turned out it was just an account setting that he had on. Ah. Uh. Oh, and another Duo Blade, so I got four of those. Shuffle one Pokemon and all cards attached to it in your deck. That's a nice recovery card. And some Fire Energy that I didn't have before. And the Jigglypuff. The fairy Jigglypuff. I might actually be able to make a fairy deck pretty soon if I get a decent fairy legendary. A G slash. A a Xerneas is the. Uh, how do you spell? How do you pronounce Agaslash? Agaslash. It's basically how you've been saying it. Okay. Oh yes, another one of those massively powerful stout lands. So that one's you got get the. You lucky when you open packs. I do. What I mean, though, is you always get two forms of a card. They you actually get, set it up like that, need. almost, no, always. No, they don't. I never get that. Really? Nope, it's really lucky. Uh, yeah, I thought it was something they did, like, they forced it to have, if they give you a high evolution. Like, this is the first pack I've opened that didn't have, have hasn't had the high evolution on something. Another d Shadow Circle, so that's good for the Dark Deck. Ooh. It's rare that you get the evolutions along with it. Really? I seem to have a lot of luck doing yeah. that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> you are lucky. That's why I was so surprised when I got my Axew in all of its forms, Ghost. And then, let's see. Ooh, we got a new big one. Conqueror, Wake Up Slap. 30+. plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this deck does 60 more damage, then remove all special conditions from that Pokemon. I prefer the Conqueror that has every. Well, that one's actually not legitimate for a play. Actually, it's a unlimited card only, not a standard play, so you can't use it in tournaments. Ah, I got Dynamic mine Punch. Them. Flip a coin. If Heads attack does forty more damage, and your opponent's attacked, your Pokemon is now confused. Ouch. And there's a Herdier. Another Rhyhorn. One of those Fairy Mister Mimes. That's my third one of those. Andy Ladybug. Ooh, and let's see what this Dodrio has. Rage, ten damage for more, ten more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Endeavor, flip two coins. This deck does twenty more damage for each heads. Ouch. All right, and I'll open one more pack, and then I'll fix the title of the stream. And oh, a barrel, double headbutt. 60 it's damage. Chewbacca. Flip two coins. Deck does thirty damage times the number of heads. Hypno headbutt. You may do 30 more damage if you do this Pokemon is now asleep. Hmm. That's a decent trade-off. Especially if you have ways to wake it up. Mm-hmm. Or you're planning on having it killed next turn. Like, it's a, kind yeah. of a last-ditch attack. Well, you could always have the free retreat cost. This is a really long. good Fennekin. will o -Wisp for one cost or 20 damage. Most Pokemon don't have a one cost 20 damage. Another Pumpkaboo. Another Shadow Circle. And hey, look, see? B Badoof and Babarrel. I, I end up getting that a lot. And then a I energy. never do. It could be maybe just the X and Y booster. You know what? One more pack. <laughs> You're addicted. 
Well, it's fun to open them. Oh, yeah, well, you... Trevenant. This is Pokemon's your active Pokemon. Your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand. After the stream, Ooh. I'd like a link to where you buy the codes from. Yeah. And then Panseer. Actually, You'll you have can to ask get Izzy. them from Fred Myers and stuff. From, like, the $4 pack. Alright, and there's Panseer, Live Coal, and Fireworks. Yeah, but you can buy the codes Ooh. itself. Yay! I wanted another Shauna. Oh! I didn't know that. Shauna is actually one of the more useful trainer cards. Shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw five cards. Because you don't end up discarding anything using her. It essentially, lets, lets you refresh your hand. Alright, so let's go into the deck manager. I have actually made a few changes, which I'll discuss in just a moment. Pokemon TCG card game online. There we go. Fix the stream for you guys. All right. So decks that I've actually changed. I ended up changing up a lot of them and updating them to it. So now I have a fire deck that revolves around blue flare. So basically the entire goal of this deck with a few helper cards, is to get the Embor out, so it can use its Infernal Fandango, which essentially is Deluge on a fire type, allowing me to attach as many cards as I want per turn. And then a Reshiram that has Blue Flare, where it does 120 damage, but you have to discard two fire energy every time you do it. Uh -huh. I threw in the Entai for a little bit of extra punch, and then I've got the Simiseer and Panseer that help with burns and also he can have synergy with the um, Embor, because he does 20 more damage for each fire energy attached. So he's essentially a much weaker version of Keldeo. And I unfortunately only have one copy of him. Do you have any uh, stadiums in that deck? Um, I think I do not, unfortunately. Admittedly, the one does have some synergy with stadiums, but there's no stadium that benefits this deck. And any stadium I give would actually help out the enemy more than would help me. Yeah, you might want to consider one, though. Even if it's, like, just the 20 HP for no normals. Yeah. But that would help, but, like I said, that again, that would help them more than it would help me, because I have no well, normal types. But I mean, to um, well, you could use that so... to overwrite, like, my stadium. Right, it, it's, it's um... one of those iffy things. Like, I, I've been playing without stadiums for the most part. Uh, Ghost, there is this one stadium that you can heal 20 damage off of a bench Pokemon. Yeah, the poke, but that's going to hurt me a little bit, because none of my guys do bench damage, so if they switch anything onto a bench, they can just keep healing it. No, no, and that you can use that against them as well, is what I'm saying. Right, but I'm saying they get more relative utility from having it than I get benefit from that one Pokemon having the one attack. And honestly, that Pokemon is actually going to be removed as soon as I get a second one of these semi seers. So, all right, um, I'll try my dark deck against that one if you want. I think I might actually have one of the old Mewtwo cards as well. I don't know. I've got a, like a binder up in some attic somewhere. I but... have one of those uh, ancient cards where you the writing was all weird. But... Ah. And then, let's see, I did. I updated my burn deck, so now I have my Volcaronas. So this does four damage burns instead of two if you have it on your bench or anywhere. Um, Entai, the Moltres, the same Pansier line, and then the Ninetales. I got rid of the, I believe it was the, the Embor line. I got rid of the um, Growlithe line and a couple other lines that were kind of useless. Also added in two Chandler EXs, um, because this one has a second level attack where it does 70 damage plus burns and confuses, so I figured it had some synergy. Plus it only takes uh, one energy to do its 40 damage attack, and then two of it, so I actually have a bunch of the Prism energies, which actually will work with the Chandler, because he's a first form, or he's a basic. Um, and then I redid have a lot less fire energy in this deck because it doesn't really need as much as well as having the ability to recover a lot of it from the discard pile so I'm kinda deciding on making this more of a cycling thing so that's the burn deck and then 
Chestnut Genesect, I kind of fixed that up so it's mostly just the Genesects. I added in a new Shaman to update the old Shaman. A couple more Mewtwo's, and then I got rid of my other Virizians. I used to have all the different Virizians, but these ones are actually significantly more powerful. Don't have a lot of these old Genesects that have the Gaia Blaster, which does, again, this pretty much the same thing as the Keldeo. So I only have one of those, so it's not the most efficient deck yet. And then Coin Chaos. I changed this around a little bit. I'm focusing mostly on the Rhyhorn line with the one Duramaka and then the Meloetas to do most of the damage. Um, I've got the Victinis. I've got a Mewtwo in there for coverage. The Furfrau, I'm debating whether or not to keep it in or not, but it has a coin flip effect, so I think it's worth keeping in the deck. And then I added the Zapdos EX, which can feed off of, again, Rainbow or Plas uh, Prism Energy. So that one actually will work in this deck as well. And with the Rainbow and stuff, I can actually use Psy Drive um, if needed as well. So it gives me a little bit more flexibility with that deck. What else do I do? I think that's about it. I don't know if I changed Psychic Troll too much. I think I added in the second Chandelure I got yesterday, and that was just about it on Psychic Troll. Psychic Troll is actually one of the weirder decks I have, because it has the most Pokemon cards of any of my decks. It has 21. I usually keep them down to around 15. And it has really low amounts of energy, but I have a lot of energy recovery systems. Like the old Super Rod lets me put up to 3 energy and Pokemon back into my deck, etc., etc. Thank you.